Neural networks are the digital brains of our modern world, replicating human abilities and learning processes. Similar to the way humans learn, neural networks require training data, which serves as their educational foundation. This training data encompasses a wide range of experiences and instructions, shaping an AI's perception and understanding of the world. It is analogous to the combination of formal education and life experiences that shape our individual identities. Eventually, Training data forms the basis of a neural network's worldview. Consider the response that ChatGPT gives to your request, or when your self-driving car stops at a traffic signal, or the way your virtual assistant adapts to your requests, or how a search engine delivers precise results. These instances reflect the influence of the training data to which the AI was exposed. In this video, we will look at the nature of AI training data and its significance to you. Our focus will include one, how training data influences the functioning of chatbots, self-driving cars, and search engines. We will emphasize the pivotal role of training data in enhancing AI's interaction with and understanding of users. Two, highlighting the importance of high-quality, diverse training data in improving the accuracy and reliability of AI systems. And three, discussing the constraints set by training data on the capabilities and limitations of AI technology. Understanding the nature of an AI's output is key to understanding the importance of training data. An AI's output is a prediction based on patterns observed in training data. This ability to generalize allows them to apply their knowledge to new, unseen data. However, AI systems do not possess true understanding or the ability to grasp context like humans do. They operate on a statistical level, lacking consciousness, and the inherent human capability to grasp deeper meaning beyond the data they are trained on. Gathering data for neural network training involves multiple critical steps, including diverse sourcing, data quality, and data quantity. Open source data sets are widely used due to their accessibility and documentation. These data sets span various domains such as image recognition and natural language processing. Other data collection methods include web scraping, database extraction, partnerships, API services, and synthetic data generation. The collection process is designed for scalability. Neural networks like humans require continuous training to stay up to date, ensuring the highest probability of accurate outputs. Data types depend on the neural network's application. For instance, image data are used for visual recognition, text data are used for natural language processing, and time series data are used for forecasting. Large amounts of data are essential for training neural networks, especially for complex tasks. This substantial data serves two purposes. One, large quantities of data capture a wide range of nuances and variations related to the subject. Two, Large quantities of data allow the neural network to learn and adapt more effectively. The required quantity of training data depends on the complexity of the task and the neural network itself. More intricate and complicated tasks necessitate larger data sets to achieve effective learning and performance. Data quantity also plays a role in potential bias, a crucial concern in AI. This warrants a more detailed discussion of training data and bias. All natural datasets contain biases. For instance, if you are building a convolutional neural network or CNN called CatCNN to identify pictures of cats, then the training data will consist of cat images. CatCNN needs to recognize cats from any angle. However, the training data will likely be heavily biased to frontal cat images with very few images of cat bellies. This data bias will cause CatCNN to produce highly accurate output for frontal cat images, but low accuracy outputs for images of cat bellies. Increasing data quantity can address many biases. However, when addressing potential bias, care is essential to prevent human perceptions from tainting the data. The quality of training data directly impacts the quality of neural network outputs. High quality data increases the likelihood of relevant, accurate, and representative outputs. Poor quality data leads to inaccurate outputs, following the principle of garbage in, garbage out. Ethical considerations, particularly in data privacy and consent, are crucial. Ethical guidelines and legal requirements govern data collection from individuals. Data must also comply with copyright laws and terms of service agreements, especially since social media is a common data source for neural network training data. 
Before training, the data undergoes pre-processing to ensure quality and suitability. Pre-processing involves removing inconsistencies, standard formatting, addressing missing values, and augmenting data to increase training set diversity. Data labeling also occurs during pre-processing. During training, data are typically divided into training, validation, and testing sets. The training set trains the model, the validation set evaluates the model during training, and the testing set evaluates the final model's accuracy. As mentioned, neural networks require continuous training to stay up to date. Each new dataset follows the same suitability, quality, and ethical requirement as the initial training dataset. This video gives you an overview of neural network training data. Here are the key points to remember. One, neural network outputs are predictions made from patterns in training data. These predictions are based on statistical probabilities, not on true understanding or awareness. This highlights the vile role of training data in determining how neural networks behave and how accurate their predictions are. Two, the quality and amount of training data are crucial. Large and varied data sets are needed to capture the complexity and variations of the subject. This helps the network manage complex tasks and adapt to new, unseen data. Low quality or biased data can result in incorrect or skewed predictions. And finally, three, neural networks need ongoing training to stay up to date. Without continual updates of new data, a neural network may become outdated. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be on the lookout for our next video on weights and biases in neural networks. Thanks for watching.